Hey, Strength Squad, we are now entering another 10 week program and everyone's entering the 10 week program, which is really cool. We have kind of all three groups um, all in the same spot. So this is gonna be really good. Um, with regards to the training, um, the training is gonna be very similar to what you've seen in the past. A um, couple things like lower volume, so lower, lower total amount of working sets. And um, we're gonna use some warm up sets. We're gonna use a bit of tempo um, and we're gonna rest a lot in between our working sets. So um, with regards to your training, all of your workouts, if you fill out the form, I think there may be one or two of you having it, are posted. Um, what to expect is we're increasing the calories now. So we're really going to focus on lifting heavy um, and take advantage of kind of the extra calories that we do have right now um, to maximize um, the amount of progressive overload that we're getting and all these things. So um, what you'll see is for your upper body days, you're going to have five exercises um, for each muscle group in the upper body. Your target muscle group is going to be trained earlier. You're going to have about you're going to have exactly probably two working sets for every exercise. For your lower body days, you're gonna have four exercises, um, same type of setup as the upper body day. Um, it may seem uh, almost underwhelming the amount of exercises we're gonna do, right? Five one day, four the other. It might be like, what's going on? If you do these sessions properly, you follow the warm up sets, the rest intervals, and you lift heavy enough, it's gonna be more than enough. If you don't, you'll be out of the gym in 30 minutes and you'll be wondering what you're paying me for. Um, with regards to the warm up sets, this is something that might be a little bit different, and I tried to implement it at the start of the last block, and I'm going to try and do a better job this one. Um, but when you look at your exercises, you're probably going to be working in either the four to six rep range or the six to eight rep range for your working set. So anytime you see a range on your workouts, four to six or six to eight, those are going to be your working sets. Okay, um, that makes it super simple to figure out. Anytime you have to ask yourself how many working sets you're doing, you're doing two. Okay, so um, simple things, those are always the right answer. Um, like a multiple choice, it's like answer C. Um, with regards to your warm up sets, what you're probably gonna see is you're gonna see, say, two sets, and then it'll say 10, 8, 6, asterisks, um, either 4 to 6 or 6 to 8. So the first three sets, the set of 10, the set of 8, and the set of 6 are warm ups. So I want you to build in weight gradually over your warm-up sets do a set of 10 do a set of eight do a set of six then you'll see an asterisk and you'll see again either a four to six rep range or a six to eight you're going to do two working sets of either four to six or six to eight those will be your working sets so um, these warm-up sets can absolutely improve performance on your working sets and make a huge difference on your performance in the gym if you do them properly so just make sure that you're building in weight you're not lifting too close to your working weight um, too early and you don't fatigue yourself um, and you're using these warm-up sets to gauge what your working weight should be to improve your technique um, and following that tempo so that's what we're using it for hopefully the way i, I worded it made sense um, if you are working in the six to eight rep range um, you don't have that warm-up set of six so it'll just be ten eight you see asterisks six to eight you're doing a warm-up set of ten you warm up set of eight six to eight hopefully that makes sense i'll see you guys all this week